This is the third tutorial in the Wikidot 101 series. I've been asked to make the videos a little shorter, so I'll aim to have this one under five minutes if possible. Uh, any other feedback is very welcome. Just send me a PM on Wikidot, um, a private message. My username is Liga, which you can see up here. Or um, just by going to this website, you can find links to the pages that we have used in each video. And here is the link to the actual website, the wiki where the videos are hosted on Wikidot at the moment, 101.wikidot.com. So you can click down here and see a playlist of all the videos. I'm recording the third one now, so by the time you see this, there'll be a third video here. Okay, so back to the tut website. For this tutorial, we'll be covering list pages. I'll only go into, it, into the basics because it's only going to be a short video. Um, and I'll cover more advanced concepts with the list pages module later in another video. Now, in the last tutorial, we created this uh, news page modules where you can create another page by entering the page title here. And this link does exactly the same as this, except it doesn't let you enter the actual title. So we did it with new page modules and we did it with links. I'll show you in main, what I mean by that. There, so new page module. And this link, where you've got the uh, category and the page name, slash edit, slash true, does the same as having a new page module for that category. Just remember that, that if you want to do this method, you need to have the category order numbered. Okay, that's good enough for recap. Now the problem is I created a few pages in each of these categories, but I haven't got a link to them anywhere. Now, I could manually remember exactly what every page was and write down the link, but just say we have hundreds of pages, like I was um, giving as the example here. It could be a football team with hundreds of matches over the span of several years. You want to list the pages automatically. That's where the list pages module comes in. So to list things automatically, we use the list pages module. Now first, I'll find out what animals I have. So I'm going to do module list pages. And then I want to set my category as animal. That is the simplest possible way you could do anything. So I'll just show you what the results of that is. And now you can see that I created two pages, dog and cat. That's the content on the page. And this is details about who created it and when it was last, um, and what date, and how long ago. Now, if I want to customize that, just say I want to show um, only the title in a list, I will edit the page, and I will add extra details here. On a new line, I will do an asterisk to start a list, because as you know, if you want a list, you do list one, list two. List 3, and if I just preview that, that shows up as a list there. Now I want all of my pages to show up in a list like that. Now what we do is a closing module tag, which with a slash first before the module, notice that the first starting tag does not have the slash, the ending tag does. And then in the middle, we'll do what um, basically, in the middle of those two tags, starting and the end tag, um, this is what happens for every single page in that list. So if I did that, what you would see is that there's two pages and each one has list one. What we want is that to change and have the page name instead. Now there are several, to, uh, several variables that you can use with list pages. I think there's probably around 30 or 40 of them. Um, some of them more advanced than others. One of the ones that you will use the most is title linked. So it is the word title, underscore linked, and each variable is surrounded by two percentage signs. So that could be another variable name, except that doesn't actually exist. Title linked does. Now I'll show you what that looks like. Notice that for this, every, every possible page that matches the category animal, it will show up with this. 
and there's the title of the page as a link. If we just wanted the title only, we'll put it alongside there, and you'll see that there's a title alongside that is not a link. Now I'll do the exact same thing for the match page. And just to neaten that up a bit, I'll put a header here. There we go. So we have a list of animals and we have a list of matches. These are the pages that I created in the last tutorial. You'll notice that the match pages, if you look down here where the URL appears, I've got match one, match two, match three, because it's an auto numbered category, whereas animals is not auto numbered, so I have animal colon cat, dog animal colon dog, if you're looking down here. Thank you for watching, I hope you learned something.